Uh, my name is Ken Robinson. I'm the caretaker for this site. This is the Atlas Sea Missile Silo. So this was part of the 566 Strategic Missile Squadron, and that's the site. That's the emblem there on the wall with the mole coming out of the ground with the missile in his hands. Uh, but this is an old Cold War era missile site that was active from 1961 to 1965 when it was deactivated. Will County acquired this site in 1972. Um, this is a single-use site when it was here. There was a, one Atlas rocket, one warhead, and the warhead was 4.4 megatons. To give you an example of a megaton, a megaton is a million pounds of TNT, or the equivalent of that. And this is 4.4 megatons. Uh, to give you a comparison, the bomb that was dropped in Hiroshima was only 14.4 kilotons. So that's a, that's a thousand pounds of TNT equivalent versus this being a million pounds of TNT equivalent. Okay, this door here is 18 inches thick, and this door would be opened manually by hand so that when they brought a missile in here, they would actually back the missile in through this door, and the missile would actually be laying in there horizontally instead of being in there vertically. This site is basically two buildings underground. You have this building that's over here, which is called the Missile Maintenance Area, and then you got this building that's at the end of this long tunnel here that's called where Command and Control Center was located, that's where the generators were located, backup battery, and that's where they ate their meals. And if they had to sleep, they would sleep down at this end. This is the Atlas E raised up out of the silo, and you can see that venting of the liquid oxygen off of there. This is that big door there. And then this is the big door on top here that actually would go off to the west, and the missile would be raised up over the, at the south end. And then that door behind it is the blaster, and that's for the exhaust of the rocket engines. This was a very thin-skinned rocket, <clears throat> so when the rocket was stored in here, it had to have an inner gas inside of it to keep it inflated. So, the, but you can see from this <clears throat> how thin the shell was on this rocket. Okay, so they stored in what you call a stretch mode. Okay, even they even had the capability of storing that in stretch mode on the trailer, too, that had its own system on there. Well, I conduct tours pretty much every day of the week. Uh, to set up a tour, you can go into the Well County website <clears throat> and look under Buildings and Grounds, and under the Buildings and Ground Department, you will see a site that says Missile Site Park. Just click on that. It has my contact information. I do tours uh, from 9 to 2. The last one I would start is at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And then if you have a large group, you know, 10 or more people, then I will do a Saturday for you. Open house, I do those twice a year. I do those on Memorial Day weekend and probably do one Labor Day weekend. Set those up for the general public to come out. And I usually have some missilers that come out and help me. And they set up their own displays inside the silo itself.